Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. Welcome to your forecast horoscope for your mid-January. This is going to cover from now until the end of January. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you'd like a personal read me, go to my website, jenniferwalkers.com, or check out the description box below. And also, if you guys are a fan of the mysteries or unsolved true crime stories, you may want to check out my second channel. It's called JWZ Mysteries, and all the information is in the description box below. So today, we're going to talk about love and then wealth. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's check it in. What's going to happen my Capricorns? Romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Capricorns romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Capricorns career and finance. For now until the end of January. Show me cards that you see. Show me the cards I need. Two. Three. Okay, so you're getting some kind of communication here. Or there's a lot of energy being put into your situation here from a person here, Capricorn. Something is coming in fast. So let's see what that's about. Ooh, somebody could be a Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. Could be a younger energy. Someone that is flirting here. Page of Wands energy. It looks like a person that wants to hold on to you. Okay, let's get more information. I'm just going to have my Capricorns, romantic love life. Hold on one second. Let me lay down the rest of these cards here, Capricorn. So potential signs in your situation could be Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, Gemini, Libra, Christ energy. What's going to happen my Capricorn's romantic love life? Give me nine cards for my Capricorn's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for Capricorn's career and finance. For now, until the end of January, show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. So we see there's energy being put behind the situation. Someone who's really flirty, like really wanting to hold on to the connection. Somebody you work with possibly here with the work card coming out. There's some big changes coming in for you guys. And it's very unexpected. Okay, let's keep going here, Capricorn. What's going to have my Capricorn's romantic love life? Give me nine cards for my Capricorn's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Capricorn's career and finance. For now until the end of January. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so there's been some delays. This person felt like there were some delays, some challenges here. That's why they're putting more energy behind this. That's why they're communicating some things here. Looks like this person really wants to heal the connection. And we see that this person's letting you know, you are the best decision for me, Capricorn. Let's keep going. I'm just gonna have my Capricorn's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Capricorn's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Capricorn's career and finance for now until the end. Uh, January, show me cards you need to see, show me cards you need to see. So there's been some delays because of lack of healing or possibly some of you guys may have been coming off of a relationship and it was like, yeah, I don't know if this is the wisest decision for me. Yeah, so there's been some confusion which has caused some delays. And the lack of courage here, strength card energy. But now it seems like this person, this person's like, a, there's some kind of perception or they're gaining the courage, strength or confidence to kind of speak their truth to you, it looks like here. Also, let's find out what you need to know for your romantic love life, Capricorn, for this month here. For now, until the end of January, what does Capricorn need to know about the romantic love life that they don't know, that they need to know? Hold up, there's too many cards, Spirit. What does Capricorn need to know about the romantic love life that they don't know that they need to know? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So there's some kind of balancing act going on here. I get the sense of you guys are a little bit off balance here, that there is this, this way of going up, but it's kind of like a little bit wobbly. It's like you're not sure how to, you know, move forward here. So I get the sense that someone wants to bring something into balance or there's a patient energy. Okay, with this card, I get the sense that there needs to be some kind of grounding. And it looks like there's a person that looks like they're trying to find some kind of creative solution, trying to grow the connection, trying to be expressive to you. Because they have been, they have definitely been like putting the effort into the connection, okay? And, and now they're like, oh, okay, I see something's growing here, okay. 
And this card here, I get the sense that someone wants to stick around. And we see the truth being revealed. We see a lot of thoughts being shared here. Okay. All right, so again, we see this work card energy, the school for some of you guys. This Eight of Pentacles can be school or work, or can just talk about work or effort into the connection. I want to invest time. That makes sense because we saw that person was watering some flowers there, Seven of Pentacles energy. And we see that there's something that's growing in this connection from work. And it looks like there's a truth coming out with the King of Swords energy. Yes. We see that there is some travel and something hopeful about the situation. We see that there is a person that may be giving some kind of advice or some memories of the past here is coming up. Okay. I have feelings for you. I'm at a crossroads. You're shocked and surprised. Okay. I want to share my dreams with you and bring things into balance. There's that balance card. I get the sense that uh, there's been a lot of reflection or there's going to be a lot of reflection about this connection and, and the fact that you guys mirror each other, that you're very similar, um, that there has been this acceptance about the connection and wanting more from this connection. So it's like there's some confusion that also happens because some of you guys are going to receive some kind of dream here, some kind of message which is going to cause you some kind of confusion. It's like you're trying to bring things into balance. I also I feel like one of you guys, either you or the other person, is still coming off of a relationship, and now it seems like it's going to start to come into balance here because there's more of an acceptance of that situation, and this is bringing something in balance in here. Okay, so we got Knight of Pentacles energy, okay, towards the end of the month here, and I see that there is some slow walk and some overanalyzing, but some actions being taken in a serious direction. And we see some intimate time spent together, okay. To have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation here, which makes you really happy, actually, okay? So it's like this person's trying to defend their position and wants to give to the connection. And this is really bringing some strength here into the connection. It's like you're dealing with these regrets of the past. It's coming up. It's being resolved. And you're really gaining some kind of strength here. So star card energy, this is a destiny kind of situation because you're seeing some kind of spiritual science here. It's like a destined connection here with the star card energy. And there's an awareness of it this by the end of the month. And you're kind of trapped in your thoughts about it because it's like you get some kind of dream here. Yeah, spiritual card again, something to do with your intuition, gaining some kind of knowledge that you're on the right path. Yep, there is a destined connection here. Okay, so let's talk about it. So you start off a little bit confused and lacking the courage, strength, or confidence. Then you get some kind of perception in your dreams, which brings things into balance, and you're an accepting of this sense of happiness and really brings you strength and lets you know you're on this destined path, this right path. which explains the shock and surprise about this situation. Okay. There was delays and challenges. I love you, and I want to talk with you about this to heal the situation. I'm at a crossroads. I'm sorry. I apologize. You are the best decision for me. You're shocked and surprised, but there's, there's also a spiritual message. You're getting some intuitive signs here. bottom of the deck, lots of chemistry and passion. An apology, an offer of love, and this friendship and confusion, or excuse me, stress and anxiety about making the effort, but then we see this spiritual sign again. Work, uh, and we see some travel. So we see there's effort being put into traveling to spend some intimate time together. Something changes here, and it's hopeful, and there's a giving energy that was very unexpected this could be some memories of the past and trapped in your thoughts, feeling like your hands are tied or stuck. Okay. Communication uh, at work, okay, or effort. And it's going slow, but there is a lot of overanalyzing in actions, but there are actions being taken. There's a lot of flirting, 
and time invest it in someone's like, I want to defend my position, I want to hold on to you, they're going to speak their truth, and Starcard shows me a hopeful outcome and also some kind of spiritual sign there. Okay, Capricorn, let's get you some advice here. Okay. Can I have some advice for my Capricorns when it comes to their romantic love life for now until the end of January? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need. Two, see. Wow. So when it comes to the situation, they are, they are suggesting a change of locations or travel. So some of you guys are far away from this person and Spirit is suggesting some kind of vacation or travel. Listen to your intuition, be receptive to it. Pay attention to your dreams. I saw the dreams card. You're about to learn some stuff here. I feel like more of a divine connection here which is going to help teach you some things. This situation is about healing your heart. And there you go again. This card's coming up showing me something is growing out of this situation, which will bring you a sense of soul appreciation. A lot, of, a lot to be grateful for. Oh, there we go. The divine presence coming out again. What did I say? This is a destined connection. And I get the sense that you're going to feel it in the heart. We see Akashic Records, and there is definitely a road to prosperity in your romantic love life. No need to be confused. Okay, so when it comes to your romantic love life for the rest of the month, guys, pay attention to your dreams, listen to your intuition here on this connection, okay? Because you're going to get some good signs about this situation, which is going to help you learn and teach you some things. Okay, so let's move into your career in finance. Cross my fingers, get around. Okay. All right, so you have this friendship. You're doing some socializing. There's a joyful energy here. You're in the stable place here at the Four of Wands energy. Looks like Queen of Cups is saying you're getting some kind of good advice, okay? Or you're contemplating here about devotion and love to your situation. Now, the Four of Wands, I have to say, can represent a house or real estate also and could be seeing friends and real estate, joyful energy. This also could represent some kind of party or celebration. And we see this, uh, this could represent a Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. We see a recovery going on here when it comes to a commitment or contract and getting some attention around that. Okay, let's keep going. There's a little bit of a fearful energy here coming in, but it looks like you're gonna get what you pray for it here and definitely you're gonna be able to be in full power here. We see there's a I get the sense with this nature card is saying you're very grounded. You're coming from a grounded place. Okay, so next up for the next timing here. You're getting a little bit trapped in your thoughts here, feeling a little bit stuck. And it looks to me like you're like, uh, I don't want to make a foolish decision here. Or I better go for something new or there's something new here. And you're concerned that something about this is a little bit deceptive or you're not seeing all the answers here with the Seven of Swords energy. So something you've been waiting for, a letter, message, or document here about a new situation. So you're being very strategic, not sharing your thoughts about this new situation. You get this text message, letter, document, communication about this new situation. You've been trapped in your thoughts and waiting. So it looks like, it first looks like you've been trapped in your thoughts and waiting and then you receive the message about this new situation. Yeah, you clear out your energy and you get what you manifested here, but there was some worries and concerns about it. Okay, so High Priestess card energy talks about intuition, talks about gaining some kind of knowledge, some air of mystery about what? About a contract, a commitment or a choice you gotta make. So you're kind of thinking about it, okay? Yeah, you know you're gonna have to make a sacrifice here, main person. And you want a sense of forgiveness around that because you feel bad about it. You're a little bit overwhelmed and you're taking on more responsibility by the end of the month here and all of a sudden something happens here which is allowing you to take it to the next step. So yeah, you're gonna be burdened with a little bit more responsibility, but this is allowing you to take it to the next step. Okay, so 
you had this fearful situation, but the energy was cleared because you really thought about this, and you got what you prayed for, you manifested this, and things went in your favor, you were able to be your true self here. There was some worries and concern about taking the first step here, though. Going further. Healing a situation, something you've been waiting for in a partnership and a commitment and a contract. We see a letter, message, or document to main person getting attention over this new situation all of a sudden. So it's coming in all of a sudden. Okay, we see a friendship, a socialize, uh, friendship, a socializing, friendship, socializing, joyful energy trapped in your thoughts because of the air of mystery. We see this sense of stability, stableness, okay, real estate for some of you guys. You take a risk, you make a sacrifice here, you get some advice, and I get the sense you're being very strategic with your thoughts or what you're saying here. Uh, so you decide to take on the burden and responsibility with the Ten of Wands, feel a sense of completion and accomplishment here with the Ten of Wands energy. So let's get you guys some advice. Can I have some advice for my Capricorns when it comes to career and finance for now until the end of January? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Saying there's a lot to be peaceful for in your heart. You have this ideal partnership here and connections. There's no judgment to be made here. Be authentic. You've manifested what you wanted. Now you can focus on yourself. And we see forgiveness, something's gonna go in your favor. Get centered. Forgive yourself, you've done nothing wrong. Get centered. This is the story of your life, a good story of your life. Be patient. Communicate and know this is a part of your personal growth. What's the last card saying? Be, have peace in your heart. So I have peaceful, tranquil, and untroubled heart. So they're saying there's nothing to worry about here, okay? that you're gonna have a victory, there's no need to judge the situation, that you have good connections, and that something will come in here that's gonna be ideal for you because you've manifested this. Communicate when it's time, be patient for now, and know that you have the personal growth, you have the skills to do it. All right, my beautiful Capricorns, I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in another day or two. There's multiple readings you guys to go check out right now. If this resonates with you, um, if this you want to claim this reading, or you just want to tell me your personal situation, if you feel comfortable, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I do read my comments, guys, so I love hearing from you. And my darlings, I hope you got a great day or two. A great day or two. Yes, I, I love you guys, um, and I hope you have a good day or night wherever you are, whenever you see this message. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys soon.